Wait, the Seahawks, you're the Seahawks, my man? Nice, that's a different, something, something different, that's what I wanted, something different, that's why I picked the Jets. Let's see how, let's see how it goes. The oh, fifth the pick for the Ravens. You have the 29th pick. So you get late pick and an early pick. You know how the serpentines. <clears throat> the Jets are now on the clock. No, oh, look at that. I got a 27th pick, bro. Don't feel bad. Seahawks are now on the clock. Nah, I already know you're going. I was gonna get him, but I don't want to steal him from you. The Seahawks. You're are Deion now on the Sanders. Clock. You already know, man. Go, you your pick. I know you're gonna get Deion, so I just went and got Palomalu. The Jets are now Dang, on the he went right before my pick, bro. Look who's on the board. Who? Yeah. I'm still gonna take Randy Moss. Nah, you know what? I ain't gonna take Randy Moss. I'm gonna take Bojack. Oh nope. I'm gonna take Ray Lewis. The Ravens are now on the clock. The Ravens are now on the clock. The Jets are now on the clock. He picks after me in this round. The Seahawks are now on the clock. I took Jerry Rice. The Seahawks oh, this dude, the what clock. the fuck is your deal, bro? You like to lose? The Jets are now on the clock. Of all these quarterbacks here, bro, you thought Justin Herbert was going to be your fucking answer. Bro, like how many times are I going to hear you say, Oh my God, he was wide open. Where are you throwing the ball that way? All the time, bro. I'm just looking at all these quarterbacks who you could have got, bro. Yes, you do. What are you talking about? How don't you? The Ravens are now on the clock. Uh, yeah, because you just picked before me, dork. Do you not understand how a serpentine draft works? The Ravens are Obviously the not. In the first round of the draft, you pick number 28. So in the second round of the draft, you pick third. In the first round, I pick 26. And then in the second, I pick fifth. It alternates each round. <laughs> How's that done? Would you want to go 27th every round? 
The Jets are now on nah, the it's one. not. You get one pick early and one... Damn, they just took Sean Taylor. Son of a bitch. You throw me all off my game and shit, bro. So you throw me all off my game. I gotta figure out who I'm gonna pick. The Seahawks are now on the clock. I don't pick no tight ends, bro. I make tight ends out of wide receivers I don't like. <laughs> the Seahawks are now on the clock. Damn, Sertan was right there. What the hell? Patrick Sertan. Wait. The Jets. Wait a minute. Bruh. That's his daddy? Patrick Sertan. Patrick Sertan the second right now. He plays for Alabama. He's coming in the draft next year. I just saw somebody draft Patrick Sertan Sr. That's dope. I'm going to have to go get that, man. And then get his son, too. Same team, baby. LT all day. No brainer. The Ravens are now on the clock. Ravens on the clock. Who's your, what's your defense looking like? A ant? Pretty good D. The Ravens are now on the clock. Oh. Uh, mm. That's a good one. That's a good one. I need to get some cornerbacks. I think that's what I'll be going. I think that's what I'll be going for right now. If the Ravens ever hurry up and fucking pick. The Jets are now on the clock. No, nah, not right now. I need cor now Oh, damn, he was that bad? The cornerbacks up here are not good at all. I had to get somebody, though. How you feel about Ray Lewis? I trade, I trade you old Ray Ray for Night Train. Come on, that's an even fucking trade, dude. Okay, then Ray Ray for me, Joe. Bro, I'm not going to give you fucking Ray Lewis for nothing. All right, that's cool. I should have took Deion Sanders. The I knew Seahawks I should have took him. Are now on the clock. That's cool. I now see how it is. Be. The Jets are now on the clock. Yeah. Did you really? Go fridge. Defensive tackle. Are now on the clock. Warren Sapp. Oh, Warren Sapp's on the board. I just took uh, Refrigerator Perry. Oh yeah, he's gone, bro. Are now on the clock. Chase. Oh. Nah, it's not that long. Oh, okay, my bad. 
I took I took a linebacker. The Seahawks are now on the clock. You're tripping, bro. You're tripping. Emma Smith's up there still, too? Damn. The Jets are that nigga's slow. Yeah. That's slow. <laughs> In this game, that's slow, bro. Kevin Mawai, bro. He was a he was an all time jet. He the come on. Are now on the clock. The running backs. Yeah. Barry Sanders was the best one. The Jets. No, yeah, yeah. I'm saying Barry Sanders just got picked up. <clears throat> the Seahawks are now on the clock. Yeah, they came off right now. They usually do around ten. Excuse me. See, look, the Falcons got back-to-back -back picks. That's how the Serpentine draft works. See how the Vikings go third and they go second to last, or the Bills. The Seahawks are now on the clock. The Jets are now on the clock. are now on the clock. The Ravens are now on the clock. I don't even got a quarterback yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> I missed out on Brett Favre. There's some the good Jets ones left. Are now on the clock. There's some decent ones. George Bland, uh, I got, I got, I got some for Vic's ass. Seahawks are now on the clock. I know that's what I just drafted the left tackle. <laughs> the Seahawks are now on the clock. The 
jets are now on the oh, no, he's long gone, bro. Damn, someone took shields. <clears throat> oh, well. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. The Ravens are now on the clock. The Ravens are now on the clock. The Jets are now on the clock. The Seahawks are now on the clock. The Seahawks are now on the clock. The Jets are now on the clock. The Ravens are now on the clock. Damn, there goes my right hand. They just took him too. Son of a bitch. The Ravens are now on the clock. Oh no, them, them, them's is gone. Jets are now on the clock. The Seahawks are now on the clock. The Seahawks are now on the clock. Jets are now on the clock. Everybody tripping, bro. Sleeping on this man. Adrian Peterson. The Ravens are now on the clock. Fucking 99 overall, Adrian Peterson, bro. <laughs> motherfucker had 99 break tackle. Jets are now on the clock. The Seahawks are now on the clock. Bro, this dude was a the good Seahawks pick. Are, are you serious? 
like quarterback that I always look for that I can never find. He was in this his he's on this roster. Tyree Jackson. Nah, he's not a legend. He was just on like the base roster. He's like fifty five overall. But I'm gonna take that motherfucker, I'm gonna make him into a superstar watch. Ratings don't mean shit to the me Jets in this game. Are now on the clock. That was a good pick. I was about to pick him. There's so many good running backs, bro. <laughs> Okay, I'll take Devin Hester. The Ravens are now on the clock. Yep. The Ravens <clears throat> are now on the clock. The Jets are now on the clock. The Seahawks are now on the clock. I was the about Seahawks to take them. Are now on the clock. Jets are now on the clock. The Ravens are now on the clock. Oh, for real? All right. I guess we could do that. I hope I get Joe Namath. He was still on the board. <laughs> Sucks, bro. your week by installing your game plan. This is the player card. Here you can see your player's strengths and weaknesses. I don't know, but cut one guy so I can simulate to the regular season. Because everybody has 50. I say cut one guy because I'm about to simulate to the regular season.
you got a 99 offense, you said, Miguel. My, my, my team sucks, bro. 89. Meeting your season goal comes with higher rewards. 90. Start your uh, 85. By installing your game plan. <clears throat> My shit's at 89, 93, 85. <clears throat> Alright. See if I play either one of you. I think I played the Ravens. I think the Jets played the Ravens. We. Let me see. I play the Seahawks. I play you week 14 at. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be me because I'm an AFC. Easily see how many Shit, I'm down the course to get you started. Hold on, I gotta cut I gotta cut some people right quick. Let me just upgrade my players and I'm good to go. You good at it? Alright, I'm going to mid season. Going to mid season. Let me know the records when it stop. You're six and one. Damn. Nah, AFC. We're both AFC though. Start All right. your week by installing Let your me, game uh, plan. Put the uh, draft class in. Here's a list of all the players that will appear in the upcoming draft. Select a select to scout this player and unlock his best. Each skill unlock will cost you scouting points. Unlock this player's true skill ranking to see if he is a diamond. You just found a diamond in the rough. Other team. Anybody want to trade? Now's the time. Or you want to just sim it?
see if I got any injuries. Oh, yep. Nobody significant. These players are on the last year of their contract. not so you got the number one seed <laughs> Start your week by installing your game plan. Shit, I thought we were in the playoffs already, bro. <laughs> this shit was barely in the fucking week 17. You lost? Hey, you played the Bengals. You played the Bengals in the playoffs. <laughs> yeah, bro. I swear, you just played the Bengals last week, and now you play them this week in the playoffs. And then, oh, okay, never mind. That was from last week. Yeah, I see it now. It switched. They play the Patriots now. Let's go.
That started the match, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the NFL playoffs on EA Sports. No bigger stage than this one. Sold out MetLife Stadium, located just outside of New York City. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Baltimore Ravens and the New York Jets. For a berth in the AFC Championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. Oh, the snow. I just saw it, bro. I just walked back inside. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I picked up a quarterback after all. I forgot I picked this dude. Yeah. He's not that fast, but he can scramble. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. Third down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he is going to have a Jets first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. It's a nice job hitting him on the angle route there. Come out of the backfield, cutting sharply across the middle. And that's good timing between the quarterback and his receiver. Effective third down play to move the chains. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull off, and not hit him. There's the penalty. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And it's a fumble, and it's picked up by the Ravens. He's got daylight, the 20. Ooh, Lord, and this is going to be brought back for a Baltimore touchdown. The papers this week, it was all talk about how big of a game this was. Of course it is. It's the playoffs. It's the divisional round. But they handle it well. They score early. They really did. Plenty of confidence exuded on that drive. No nerves showing. Terrific way to get things started. They are in control. Well, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. Makes the score. Ravens 7. Jets nothing. Zane Gonzalez set to kick off. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Takes this about five yards deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They're forced to play catch up early in this division round game as they search for a seat in the AFC championship round. 
just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his man. And I think the ball's out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. And CD, that's the second time this half they put it on the carpet. Now, the first one they lost. Good news here, it doesn't cost them. They do say that things even out in the course of a ball game, so you mentioned they lost the first one. This time, able to retain possession, but they know where to go here. He lost the football. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all yeah, times. They're, they're, you don't all the legends are rookies. Up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And he loses the football a second time. Bro, what the, the hell, man? Out of bounds, so they will lose yardage, but they'll keep the football. So danger averted for the moment, but now here's a third and long. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped the yard or two short. And it's fourth down. On fourth down, on is Dustin Colquitt to kick this away. Back deep, Julian Edelman. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And did they keep it in? They did. Okay. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one yard line. Yeah. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? The same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. They give him a lot of credit there, but even more credit to the guys up front. In that situation, you know it's going to be a stacked defensive front. And to be able to gain that much yardage, that's a big win for the guys on offense. Yeah, they were just about standing on their own goal line, so to get a few yards there, a great start. Now we'll see what second down brings. Raven. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Buying time to his left. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A big play there. 75 yards. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass this young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed. Aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, and why shouldn't we be? We've seen him improve throughout the year. We've seen him settle in now, and you can see the confidence of the team has grown. His confidence has grown. I think that everyone around this guy feels good about what they've seen, and it's also safe for him when he's driving home to turn on Sports Talk Radio. He's okay. Zing Gonzalez set to kick now off. after the touchdown here's Gonzalez on to kick it away fields it in the middle of the end zone and he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line 25 yard line come in we're going to get a timeout here by the offense 
They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. second down on the pickup it's second and eight at the 27 yard line now he dumps this off over the middle and they're going to have this in a great spot way down in baltimore territory a big play there on the catch and run 58 yards Yeah, it is him. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. That one good for ten yards. And it'll be second and very short. It's second and inches. And he'll give it here to his running back. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it third and one. They'll set up a throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Dominique Rogers cromarty He's at the 50. The 30. 20, no, 10, no, let's and he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. So this defense doubling its pleasure there. Remember, they had the fumble return for a score earlier in the game, and now this time an interception return for another score. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. And it is now 21 to nothing. 21 nothing. Our score after one. Jets nothing. Bro, it said it said you quit the game, bro. <laughs> yeah, no bullshit. My shit's on. My shit's on stream. It logged you out. Damn. Yeah, that was twenty one nothing already.
takes some loads back in or whatever. <coughs> nah. I just looked at my team for the first time, bro. No, I was just going through my roster. <clears throat> I got a defensive tackle playing fullback, bro. My defensive tackle is my starting fullback. He's 99 overall, bro. Damn, snow again. Just outside of New York City. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Baltimore Ravens and the New York Jets. For a what the hell? The AFC Championship game, what uniforms are those, bro? Round of the NFL playoffs. Years, I've never seen that Ravens uniform. Are they purple? Oh yeah, yeah. Never mind. I seen them. They look blue for some reason. They look blue as fuck. Now the first carry for Adrian Peterson. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the thirty. Five yards on the game's first play. Second down. Five brings up second and five. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's just start back all the same way. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> he threw it right past that dude. All right, well, there you go. They're seven. I just got to give 14 more. The Patriots got my home. Like that, and all of a sudden, the momentum jumps to that team side. It deflates the other side, and they never pick it back up. And then things really go from there, don't they? That's the thing for me. We talk about momentum changes. A play like that is the ultimate momentum change. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They start the drive with Peterson. Oh. Ran right into that guy. Jets are an extra point away from tying this thing up. 
And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Fields this weight. Now a hit and a loose football. Oh, that's a big mother. That's a big dude right there, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Is that Perry? That's the fridge. Who's that? Gonna give this time to the tailback. God damn, Jerry Rice, get out of my way, bro. Jerry Rice got right in my way. That was a touchdown. It's January. It's cold out there. Trying to clutch the football and absorb the hits. Not easily done. Yeah, we saw a product of the elements right there. And oh, his first carry, he loses the football. Ray Ray. Ray Ray. That sure started out as a good example of what they call backed up. I don't know. Real life. You're backed up close to your own goal line. Big time emphasis on practicing that to try and create some room and no less to give the punter a chance to kick the ball. And he's in. Touchdown chance. A great effort there. With his second touchdown in this opening corner. And the Jets have taken the lead. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times we talk about low man wins, right? Move the defensive front aside, create those gaps and holes. He's found his way through for two touchdowns. And after both of those touchdowns, he went right up to that O-line and hit each of them on the helmet. That's he a, recognized That's it. a smart man. You know what else he should do? If this continues take them all to dinner fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17 yard line the ravens take over first and 10 at their own 17 the raven offense set at the line for this next drive and they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown that's a no-no we'll see what they do here this go oh now he's stripped he lost the football and the defense not able to get it from a defensive perspective. What's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? I'm guessing it's just because of the snow. All concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. He fights on message training camp. Knock the ball free, oh. take it away from the other team. And Accelerating and off he goes. What's that? Is that Randy? All the way in for a Ravens touchdown. A big play there. 69 yards. My quarterback was Randy Muscle's first quarterback. My quarterback made Randy Moss. Cole Pepper. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Jets take over first and 10. At their own 25 yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be upended at the 28 yard line. Just a three yard gain there. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right. It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Third and four. Back to throw. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. All you got to do is look at him. He's here. Look at him. Touchdown, Jets. A big play there. 69 yards. That man is fast, And bro. the Jets are going to take the lead. But yeah, that was a good pass, especially in this weather. coming fast and furious 
in this opening quarter. Whoa. Yeah, both defenses, they're looking pretty exploited right now with the way these offenses are attacking. They are a step behind, back on their heels, whatever cliche you want to use. Right now, they're trying to figure out how to slow them down. Now, I'm not sure they're going to be able to. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking deep for Julio. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Kill, kill, kill. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. The linebacker, Anthony Hitchens, there on the stop. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he's able to make the play. Good golly. They get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first reception. Right, he got that old-school helmet on. He's good. It's good for the first down as well. Oh, he did that nice little spin move in there. Bam. It's a give to Peterson. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. Brings up second and 10. At the 40. Back to throw now on second and 10. Throwing left side here and it's complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it. Leaving him with his third and one. And to give this time to the tailback. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. It'll be a gain of four. And the Jets are going to get a new set of downs. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here as they've got it with a first and ten. They'll look to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Ravens. And his Bro, I dove right it. over. Hey, Dan, you got Junior to say, yeah? I don't care what the scoreboard says, partner. He knows I'm going to have to challenge right that one. Yes, oh, indeed. I won't let you pause. That's a week. Sloppy, sloppy. All these turnovers right now. Yeah, well, this was the forecast. We got what was forecasted, and we got a lot of turnovers. And it looked like a fumble to me. Julio Jones is intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the save. Jalen Smith coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They wind up getting 16, but even that's not quite enough. It's fourth down. Fourth down. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Oh, he stopped him. Oh, he got that. Dang. I thought he got the stop. Yeah, he reached. 
Ooh, he fell. He slipped it, bro. Oh yeah, really? I got that. Twelve yards there and a first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over a hundred yards receiving now. And is it one hundred the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. How's that dude that wide open? I thought that was a defender, bro. Thirty-nine yards, and the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. And he's such a talented tight end, just creates nightmarish type matchups on the other side. He's so good that when we say tight end, we're almost damning him with faint praise. Aren't we? I just snapped or something. He's as good as any I'm using a Jets playbook. Well, that's the deal. He's a wide receiver, just in a bigger body. Bigger body. I didn't even switch my playbook. Who's going to cover? When I send the film session, I just look at the coach and say, "Really? Really? You gonna yell at me? You go cover it." The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And last time, not only did he, and he loses the football a second time, and it's picked up by the Ravens, and they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The left side completion to Jones. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. That catch good for only a couple. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. A 22-yard touchdown. Uh, he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Gonzalez good on the extra point, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now this will make it into the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. Had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Now second and 10. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 16 yards, a first down. Now a handoff here to his running back. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack. Hell yeah, he did. He had like 600 something pass yards, seven touchdowns. No space to try and run. Like 50. <laughs> nah, it was less than that. Yeah. On play action, they'll throw. Pass into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on his teammate. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. 
Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, and he's free going down the left side. Oh, you got it's a foot it. race. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A great play there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Jets are an extra point away yeah, from this thing out. Yeah, LT. I got AP. LT, AP, all them, all them letters. So right back to square one. Tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one play drive where you throw an interception. A lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. A big play there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. Damn, bro. He just scored a touchdown, too. <laughs> Yeah. I'm just going to advance it. I'm not going to force anything. Oh, I lost. Yeah. Huh? gonna be a shitty ass Super Bowl bro fucking Falcon er, Ravens and Seahawks bro that's crazy the game ended 38-31 I was the number two seed and he, he upset me it was two upsets bro wow I just saw the Patriots beat the Jaguars The six beat the one. That's like a giant. Oh my god, are you serious? 80 to 51, bro. Oh, yeah, really? And then, and then, you, hold on. And then, and then you beat the Seahawks 13 10. <laughs> that game sucked. Alright, man. Are you gonna hop off already? Yeah, bro. I'm gonna hop off and get some rest, dude. Yeah. Yeah, you should do the same. Get some rest, man. Alright, son. Love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Later.